<laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? We have some goodies! Uh, yeah, uh, new, oh, hang on, let me get in shot. New Hyper Go from MJX. This is a brushless model. I did say that this was going to come out, and here it is. We've got a bit of an early sneak peek. You see here, you know, all metal drive shafts and alloys and, you know, all that good stuff. It is a 2S, but it will do 3S, and they have a battery on their website, I believe. I will link all this, including the car, down below. It's four-wheel drive. I really, really love the brushless model. If you haven't seen that, I will leave links in the description where you can watch that video, and I did request a 3S so we can test it. Next up, we have this radio system here. On the last model, it come with the GPS and the better controller. Some people didn't like that, so they've kind of put it as an added extra. If you wish to purchase this separately, you are going to be able to do that. As for the release date of this bad boy, uh, yes, yeah, so as for the release of this one, I'm not sure. It'll be in the description if I know about it by the time I release this video. Oh, all right, sticky tape. Let's get this out of here. All righty, one off. It's even got a clipless body. And uh, what are these? These look like something off the armor, guys. Look at those tires, they look like D-boots. We are going to get the controller out, obviously. Um, so yeah, it still does come with a controller. You don't need to buy separate. You don't have to buy it separately if you don't want the GPS and all that stuff, but it is up to you guys. We'll come with the charger and we'll come with some tools, a wheelie bar, and of course the radio. Let's have a look at the radio real quickly. Okay, radio, pretty standard. You've got your on and off switch and all that good stuff here. Okay, taken. Okay, so this is kind of stuck on. I was, about, I was trying to pull that off then. Uh, two double A's looks absolutely awesome. Uh, you got your headlights at the front here. Uh, don't think there's any lights at the back. That's about it. You can see here it's got this red kind of insert where the nut is. Aesthetics are quite pleasing. I do have the monster truck model, but there is like plenty of other models that you can choose from. They've got a buggy, a truggy. Um, I know a couple of guys were looking at the outcast type of styling, but I don't know what happened to that. So I'll definitely ask MJX what happened with that. Maybe it was some legal issues. And honestly, I thought they would have legal issues with this clipless body because, well, Traxxas maybe. Either way, guys, that's for us not to worry about. We do have a clipless body though, and it it's, you know, adds reinforcement to the shell, so it's really, really nice. I actually really like this idea. I've always been a big fan of clipless bodies. Here is the battery tray. Again, clipless, love it. Kind of excited for this one. Uh, what do we got in here? So this is the 2S that comes with it. This is the 3S that I was provided. Um, I don't think that will come with it. Loving this kind of honeycomb mesh style for the chassis, and that nice gray plastic. Guys, look at those huge turnbuckles right there. Like, they are some beefy boys. Blue metal drive shaft in there. Brushless motor with a fan heatsink and it appears it has some thermal paste on there. So similar to a computer processor if you know how that works. Preamp ESC with the on and off switch beside and it's just a really well packaged design. And, and it's plastic but there is no flex at that. This is one solid unit. Here is your suspension setup guys. You have oil filled shocks, plastic body however it is aluminium pieces on there and uh, the front feels stiff where the rear does have a little bit more buoyancy in it. I think that's pretty normal, maybe a little bit stiffer if you plan to do some pretty big launches, save it from, you know, kind of nose diving a little bit. One thing I want to note before I even turned on, this servo is actually really, really smooth. Um, so I'm hoping it's also really fast. At the back here, you have full on CVDs, not just dog bones. I don't know if there's a benefit to having CVDs all round. Uh, versus dog bone metal steering Ackerman down there. However, the steering housing and all that is, and the crank is plastic But it looks like a very rigid strong plastic. So that's really really good. Oh drop test This is just the other radio and that this is gonna be the option pack uh, They sent it out to obviously look at this one as well So I figured why not put it in there. We'll see test out the GPS and whatnot Dip tires spare wires even got some double sided tape in there. So that's all good comes the GPS, so this is a little GPS dongle that's gonna go straight in there with a bit of double sided tape. And that is your new receiver, we'll have to bind that up I guess. Of course the radio, this is the one that looks like a Futaba off of Wish. And this one actually takes three double A's, so let's get uh, this in there and test it out. Okay guys, sorry for the quick cut, but I had to kind of work it out myself. So, uh, to get things straight, you cannot plug in the lighting system and the fan at the same time. And the instructions were not 100% clear. However, let me clear it up for you guys. Channel 1 is steering, that's pretty common. Channel 2, that's throttle, that's also pretty common. Channel 3 is your LED light controls. 
and then channel 4 is your GPS and it does say that all on there and then you got the BVD which is your battery voltage detection however there was no plug for the fan Get a little bit close up you can see here there is a negative and positive outlet for uh, something to plug into like a fan it is a bit tight and I had to actually cut off the side there. So MJX, I would recommend getting a three pin to a two pin. I don't think people wanna go around cutting their stuff up in case they get it wrong. And I totally don't blame them. However, it was pretty simple and now everything works properly. Put a small strip of double side tape along here and then face them both outwards. Of course, I closed this first just to avoid being able to not open and close it, but it does that perfectly well. And of course, you've got the little aerial stand there that I double sided taped to the receiver. So you plug this in here and then you've got to pin the wires into the balance lead which is in here and that will give you a voltage detection. So I'm going to leave this out because I'm not really that interested and in it. And away you go. And unfortunately there is a little bit of a throttle delay. It's not a delay, it's more just so a dead zone. Um, now to actually bind the receiver, which I had to do as well, what you want to do is you want to shut the car off, turn the transmitter off, then with two hands you're going to hold down the function button up here and you're going to turn on the controller and then you see this green light starts flashing really fast. Then simply turn on the car and as you see that green light went solid and that's it. You are good to go guys. Definitely really fast. Really really happy with that. That's on. Yeah look at that. Nice and Oh, that's got plenty of go, guys. Okay, guys, just a couple of changes that we've made since we've been at home. I've put this uh, battery voltage detection system in. You just got to plug it into the balance lead. It's not too difficult. I just don't think it's going to sit in there very well, especially if you're bashing it around. And I noticed this is actually the WL Toys 104001 battery. And that's like 3,000 milliamp hours. And it just kind of squeezes in there. I don't know if you can see this, but when you turn, just clears. So that's really nice. All you got to do, if we take a look here and you open up this little flap here, um, there's usually a piece here, but as you can see, I've trimmed it off. I just use some body scissors, cut that off, fits perfectly, and these batteries will still hold into place and won't move around. So that was kind of pointless to have on there in the first place, and that will free up some extra room to get bigger batteries. Okay, so we're in the app right now, and I just actually want to touch on the throttle delay. You can actually see that I can give it throttle, but the RC car does nothing. So it actually does register that there's throttle, and uh, yeah, the RC just kind of moved a little bit. But yeah, it just connects through Bluetooth. It's very, very simple. And even on the app, you can turn on and off your light, which is really, really cool. Set times. We've got the battery voltage, which is at 8.2 volts. So she's pretty much fully charged. And you got a bunch of settings that you can change in here as well. So let's see how fast this bad boy will go on 2S and then we'll put it on 3S. First test run. That's oh, stable actually. Wow. <laughs> Puffing wheelies even on 2S guys. This thing is going to be insane on 3S. Wait, will it sell? Ah, I thought because it was a tractor style body it might sell right. World's earliest walk of shame. <laughs> oh, it's got some brakes on it, I tell you. Man, this thing is going to be Staying on 3S. This is just 2S. I thought I liked the brush. And I thought I liked the brush model. Seriously, this thing is awesome. Man, these D boot style tires actually really grippy. I love it. Kids for days. Let's not wear out the diff before we get speed running. But this one only coming in, I think it's around like a hundred bucks US, maybe just a little over. Okay, the link's in the description. Uh, yeah, this is probably, I'm just gonna say here guys, so far, probably the best value for money RC car, well, cheap RC car, that you can get in 2022. <laughs> what was that? Brand new battery time. We are using the onboard GPS. I'm pretty sure I've got this screen recording stuff worked out. And uh, yeah, so 2S speed run. Let's get it. I think this will be enough room. Oh yeah, plenty of room, plenty of room. I think this is meant to do up to 60 kilometers an hour. 
but I don't know what it's meant to do on 2S, but I guess we'll find out. Battery still pops wheelies. Alrighty, let's bring it in. We know we want to see 3S, let's stop wasting time, guys. Guys, you can see on the screen that we got 41 kilometers now at max. So now we're going to head back, put in the 3S, and do some damage. <laughs> 3S is in, let's turn it on. Oh, you can just feel the added power in it, guys. Still proper run, guys. Full throttle. That's full. Oh, hit the brake. Hit the brake. Guys, we've got 56 kilometers an hour, which is pretty good considering the claim is 60. And, you know, only being a few off, I'm pretty happy with the that. wheelie's like crazy. Definitely going to need the wheelie bar. <laughs> I'm actually doing a top 10 cheap RC video list. I guarantee you guys, this is going to be on it. <laughs> Long wheelie. Oh. <laughs> and most importantly guys, go smash that subscribe button. It's free and we're nearly at 15k. And check out this video here. It's the brushed version of this RC car. And we take it to the skate park and give it a bit of a hard time. I think you'll like it. Anyways, that's it. Peace out. Bye!